a modern data warehouse. It's cloud-based solutions we've already talked about. It gathers and stores that information. But in addition to that, it also processes that data to help you make intelligent decisions. And we cannot stress this enough. It's not just about gathering and storing, it's about processing that information so you can use that data to do better, to make smarter decisions. And that's why a variety of organizations use a modern data warehouse to improve their business processes for, uh, or for items such as finances, human resources, and operations. All of those departments need this information to make smarter decisions. So let's go through on the, the right-hand side, you see the pyramid here. There are five different components of a modern data warehouse. We've talked about the data acquisition already, talked about how you can use IoT devices. You have things also like social media. Think about all the videos that are created on YouTube. Think about all of the tweets, the posts, every all that information, and also all the customer data that you want to get, ERP, legacy data stores. This is the acquisitions part of it. But it's not just about having the acquisition. You need to then upload it into the data warehouse. And that's where the data engineering comes in. Having pipelines, having ETL, which is extract, transform, load. You could still use an enterprise data warehousing solution if you do have that. But you also have enterprise data lakes and enterprise service business, businesses as well. And using these different tools, you could start uploading that information to a data warehouse. Similar to, uh, think about this, is similar to a factory. When the data is raw, this is like the raw materials coming into the factory and the data engineering is the truck bringing it into the factory. At this point, you then have someone who checks the information, which is the master data management and governance, and they need to steward that data. Because as we talked about, it's very important that the security and privacy is taken care of. So stewarding that information, cleaning it, making sure that that data is quality. And you'll see that there's tools to help prep that information. Once you have this, this is where you get to start turning it into, if you're using that factory analysis, taking it from a raw material and turning it into a finished good. And you have the reporting and business intelligence at this point. And what we're gonna show you is how to use Power BI, Power BI, sorry, to use that. And it's a tool on Microsoft that could help you visualize the information by using advanced analytics, KPIs and workflow automation to see exactly what's going on with your data. But we, let's take it one more step. It's not just about seeing the information, it's about using it to make smarter decisions. That's what we've talked about. That's one of the key concepts that we want you to walk away with here today. And to help you with that, there's a lot of things with data science using AI, deep learning, machine learning, statistical modeling, and natural language processing, or NLP. When you use AI, artificial intelligence, you have to remember it runs on data. The more data you can provide it, the smarter your decisions are going to be, and the smarter its results are going to be as well. And so it's very important to see, like if you're looking to help your help understand your financial reports, and you want to use AI to study that, then taking a look at that information will use AI to help you make smarter decisions. And that's one of the cusps of the modern data warehouse. It's not just about, again, about gathering and storing, but it's processing it to make smart decisions.